Hello, it's Joe Glines, and today I'm going to review a very short script, but it is very helpful if you do a lot of web testing, um, verifying of URLs and, and examining them and stuff. So, in Auto AutoHotKey, um, let's first scroll down here and just show you i got a couple functions here from, from this post where I grabbed them. There's a, a URI decoder and a URI encoder. And basically it takes the, the parameter I passed to it and either encodes it or decodes it for the... Um, what is that? The HTTP um, format for the uh, URL code, URL encoding. You know, on, on how you put, got to put certain types of characters. So then I have also this one just um, because what I do is I back up my clipboard, so this stores my clipboard, um, and then I put the variable in there. I send clip um, control copy, and then I copy it, and then later. I just send back control paste and then restore the clipboard. This is nice because that way whatever was on my clipboard doesn't get lost. So now let's come up to the top here and shortly walk through it. Um, so I say first this is where I go sub to the get selected text. So it jumps down here, backs up the clipboard, clears the clipboard, sends control C, waits for up to a second. If it doesn't actually copy anything it'll come up with a message box and say there's a problem, otherwise it's fine. Then it jumps in here and it says, okay, now take the clipboard values, uh, or value, the content in it, and run it through this URI encode function, and then store it back in the clipboard. Um, and then it'll go sub, it'll paste it, and um, in that paste, so it's paste and restore, that's where it back, it, it go back and reverts to the original. So that's the first one. Um, that'll, that'll encode the URL, so whatever I have highlighted, and this one will de does the same basic process except for it's decoding it, and this is the one that, that comes in very handy when I'm trying to troubleshoot a uh, given um, the links to understand what they're doing and stuff. So web page manipulation, the URL stuff, um, the parameters that get passed to, to a web page from the query that goes to the server stuff are pretty interesting depending on your website. So I have a couple examples here, um, and now these, let's, the first one here, this is LinkedIn, and this is where, let's say you come in, to, you're on LinkedIn. Whoa, come on. Try to bring it over. And let's say I did a search up here for, let's say, auto hotkey. I'm going to search. And actually, you know what? Let's let's make it a little, well, we'll start there. All right, so this one. So I'm going to copy this, and we'll put it, uh, I'll just start from scratch. So we'll paste it in here. Now, I could come in here in, in, in the parameters, so basically look for the first question mark. Okay, everything up to there is the like the URL, and then here's the first parameter, and then here's the second one, and here is the third, and so on, right? Um, this right now I can tell by looking at it, uh, it doesn't look like there's, well, maybe this, these, um, some of these are URL encoded. So I can just highlight it, and hit, what was it, decode, so Alt-D, I think? And that decode, but nothing happened, but let's do the Alt-W, this is the one I use the most. So, it automatically just um, popped those out for me, right? And that's odd, because I did this before, and, and for some reason in sight. Now, if I take it in the notepad, let me bring notepad over here. I think in notepad, I think sight's doing something a little interesting with the, uh, the line breaks. So I'm going to highlight it all, hit Alt-W. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Yeah, so I actually, for this example, I put the script into its own um, its own script. This is actually normally in my main auto hotkey script, and I had made some tweaks to it, and I made them in this script, but the other one was running. Anyway, so all's good. Now I'm running this script, and when I come back in here, let me see here, go back to here, double-click it, triple-click it, and hit Alt-W. So notice... It um it it went up to the F and then it put in a tab. I have really wide tabs in my site stuff. I just like breaking them up. So tab and then it looked for after the tab. Of course, is the ampersands, and it just sets them in a little bit deeper, which just makes it easier to distinguish. I I know it really doesn't matter much, but um, why not? Right, make it a little easier. And here you can start seeing the parameters, the the um the parameters and the values that get passed. Um, on that search. So this was a simple one, right? And it was saying, okay, tell it to search. This is how LinkedIn does some of their security stuff um, and things. But let's go back to here. And now let's say I do an advanced search. And I'm going to add in stuff like um, only people with auto hotkey and I, I probably should pick this like IT. If 
information technologies. All right, some of these, and are have quite a few years of experience. Now, when I hit search, this URL got updated. Right, I'm going to bring it back over into here, paste it, and now I'm, I'm going to highlight all. Hit Alt W, and the, um, so this is how you start understanding how it um, LinkedIn. Uh, interprets your search. So let's let's do a simple search. So this is um, TE three comma four. Now I know it's, it's been a while since I actually played with this ex exact one. Let's say I change this because this was the the years of experience down in here. I had two right now. If I update this, this URL is going to change. Now let's see if I actually got the right one. So when I re um, when I paste it, Alt W. So notice. F T E equals four, and here it was three four, right? So this starts you start understanding. Wow, you know what? If I want to look for another one, right? I can put in. Um, I'm not sure if there's a six one, but but I can I can basically hijack their search engine. I don't have to use their search, right? I can come in here. I can put concatenate all these together. Of course, I wouldn't do this manually. And I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to now paste. Oops, oh, well, I'll paste it here, fine. And what we should see is down here, notice it. these are all selected, right? And, and I think it was there was no six, but if I had put one and two, right, it would have done those. So that's some of the fun stuff you can do with it, right? And, it, and just the fact that, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it on this one. Yeah, so it, it now it works fine in both, so that's Notepad, but I don't like Notepad. Um, let's go back to site. So it just makes it very, very easy to grab one, to, to strip it out. Now let's say here, in this, um, let's say this guy, I'm going to copy his um, the link. I don't use Firefox normally, so it's a little confusing to me. I'm going to paste it. Now notice here, I can just eyeball this and say, look, this, this has been URL encoded. Right, the, these percent three. There's a lot of percent three, percent twos. Those are special characters. So if I just wanted to decode it, I can hit Alt D, and now that converts it into a much easier to read format. So let's say I didn't want to parse it. I just wanted to convert it, and so now I can look at how it's supposed to be. Right, uh, not supposed to be. Sorry, but a human language version, and compared to this version. Right. So I just pasted the original. So you can see how they're similar up to a point. And then suddenly, this is the part that becomes URL encoded, and yet here, this is what it, it is, um, the, the the initial query that was unencoded. And of course, I can also highlight this one and hit Alt, what is it, E, and encode. Now, it actually encoded because they didn't URL encode the first part, so it encoded more than what um, LinkedIn had done. But, so let's just pick it from here going to the end. Hopefully these will be identical. Encode. There we go. And you can see how it's it's converting it back and forth. But let's let's say we took another um, site website. And let's go to Amazon, right? And let let's say, oh, you know what? I I'm curious what, oh, what? they are putting. Oh, into no, their stupid Amazon advertising. I swear I hate that. Anyway, um, so it parses it. You know, it goes out to the, to the URL, and then at the first one, here are the other parameters and the values getting passed. So just a super easy way for me to visually be able to look at it. I can highlight anything. I don't have to be in Sight or Notepad or whatever, right? It'll work virtually anywhere where you can edit the text. It'll it'll work for me. Um, and again, it keeps like let's say I had the word auto hotkey in my clipboard. So I'm going to paste here. So notice I paste, paste, paste. Auto hotkeys on my clipboard. I can highlight this. Hit my Alt W. I go. Oh, well now I want to paste. See auto hotkeys. I was going to say still on my clipboard, but it actually it got removed and then got added back. But that's it. A nice handy little tool. Um, this is the entire thing, all on its own. And it's somewhat annotated. And that's it. Thanks.